All right, hello YouTube. Today we're gonna do simplest possible LaTeX uh, plotting tutorial. And so let's say use Overleaf, which you should, because it's pretty simple to use. And you want to make a plot. We're gonna start by, we're gonna put the plot in a figure environment. And we're going to use the ticks package in order to plot the figure. And you should put that inside the figure environment. And within the ticks picture, we're going to need an axis for our plot. so far. And you'll see I just compiled it and the figure is above the text and that's because we need to specify this here that tells LaTeX to put the figure right here and near the top of the text above it, HT. And then also you can see in the text I'm saying shown in figure one, but let's say this is later on becomes a different number. You want to actually have it refer to the figure exactly because that's part of the point of latex so instead we can say refer to figure ref and it'll automatically give us to this label here figure my label okay so we compile see the figure is now below the text where we want it the way the axis environment works is first you have to specify the properties of the plot like this and square you open square brackets and give it a name just like you would a node. I call it a plot. Uh, you have to give it limits, x min and x max. And, uh, give it a width. I usually make it a function of the text width itself. And the way you actually add the data is with the add plot command. So you're going to add a plot. It has to be outside of the square brackets. And let's make it red marker equals. Let's see if that works. And we're going to use external data. So to do that, you have to call the table function and say, call upon the data. Let's do sim. It'll probably give us an error here, but we'll hit compile to see where we're at. Yeah, it's this. It's uh, looking for mark, not marker. There we go, it should work now. And see, we still can't see the data, and that's because the limits aren't right. And then just, this is a good opportunity to note that if you upload your data as a text file and not dot dat or other extensions you can actually see it in overleaf which is nice so I can just look at the data right away and say well it starts from 2000 so this has to be 2000 and now we see the data and in this example we're going to compare uh, simulation to experiment so I'll add another one And just like the figure was referred to with this label here. So this is plot one. Um, we'll call this label sim because it's our simulated data. We'll call this label experiment. 
And that's because instead of using the legend command, which the manual will tell you to do, we're going to just make our own legend because I find that's more flexible and, and honestly a lot easier and doesn't introduce uh, strange errors that you can only fix using uh, things specific to the legend command. So these now have labels. And outside of the plot, we can now make a node. I won't give it any um, properties just yet. We're going to call it, it's going to be the legend. And it's going to be at the top right corner of the plot. And to make our legend, we need a tabular environment. We want the columns left justified, so that's what I'm doing here. So now this is going to be a table that has two rows and two columns. Each column is left justified. So this is sim. And this ampersand is what separates the columns. So first column is gonna first column, first row says sim. Second column, first row says we refer to sim. And here we can refer to the experiment. Make it just a little wider so you can see the node is now here, but it's centered on the top right, and we want it to be in the plot so it looks better. So that's where these options come in. So you say anchor equals northeast. So the top right corner is uh, going to match with the top right corner here. And we want to give it a border. So let's say draw equals black. I'll make the background white. There we go. We have a legend. And right now the plots are the same. We want to make them different. Make this blue. Uh, we should probably give it the x axis and y axis a label. Give our figure a caption. So this compares the force between two magnets. From experiment and simulation. We are in general agreement. And you'll notice that right now it's not referring to Lego to the to the figure properly, and that's because the caption didn't have text in it. Now the caption is text. Oh, pardon me. That couldn't be the only reason. It could be also the the label itself is wasn't correct. So here, the label for the caption for the figure is plot one, and we're referring to plot one in the text. I think this may also happen if we don't have any text in here. Let's see. Yeah, so it also happens if there's no text in the caption. And that's it, a simple XY plot with a legend. And in the next video, we'll make it a bit more detailed.